All right, welcome to that synth show, baby. 2024, we're back, and I feel like a million dollars. And we got synth Jonamas today. Synth Samron, I'm gonna bring you my predictions for 2024, for Behringer, for Sequential, for Arturia, and for Mo, baby. So without further ado, let's go with that synth show. All right, man, we're back. All right, we're back. And I'm feeling like a million dollars now. I feel like I just got a, a cybernetic upgrade. I don't know, maybe all that smart dust that infected me got me got my cells upgraded for 2024. Now, we got a little special episode. I got to get one out of the gate, you know, get back in the saddle. So I figured I'd bring you guys my predictions for today. If you've been following along, you maybe heard a few of them, but I'm going to hit Behringer first, then we're going to go with Moog. And then we're going to do our Arturian Sequential because I got some inside scoops because we got Samurais all over the world in every company, in every nook and cranny. And if you go on to send something to the tip line, hit me up with that email, sinsamuraiproductions at gmail.com. So, Moog's coming up with a big year, man. They got a big coming out of the gate this year and they got two synthesizers coming. Behringer, I think, are going to do three big ones this year and i think arturia might have one plan and sequential we'll get into them too but let's jump over real quick and get into this all right what do you think of these shades man my brother got me these shades for christmas and i think they're out of this world so yeah i think they go well with this it's got me feeling good all right so this is my first prediction for behringer i think they're coming with the ppg wave i think they're ready i think they got the technology going with the just recent release of the UBXA, and I think they're ready to start rolling these poly synths out. So my first prediction is the beautiful big blue, the Behringer PPG, or maybe we'll call it the BBG, or the BGP, or the BGG, whatever you want to call it. It's going to be amazing, and a lot of people are looking forward to this one. So this is going to be, I'd say maybe a, a summertime release from Behringer, and not only are they going to come with that, if we look at this little scoop over here, Behringer throws all these little Easter eggs for us in their Facebook page and stuff. And you can't really see, but if you zoomed in on this little screen, it's got a little Juno, Juno preset on it. So now that they got the keyboard, the poly, guess what? All of Behringer synths are coming with polyphonic aftertouch now. So it's changing the game. And I don't know, did they license it from ASM? We'll have to wait and see, but that's huge. Above that, we've got the form factor for the Behringer Cobol flip top and we're super excited about that one a lot of people are waiting for that it's gonna be same four factors the mono poly the poly d well that's sweet another thing i think is coming i'd say fall maybe barons is gonna do this one in the fall it's gonna be the the vc3s which is my favorite one i will be purchasing this one you will probably be purchasing it too if you like crazy sounds you like pink floyd if you like all that stuff this is the sin for you man this is this is my third prediction now we jump over real quick to this one this is one we've all been waiting for, the Lindrum. Many influencers have left Behringer out in the cold, but it doesn't matter because Behringer's, she's storming through, man. Behringer is going to leave everyone else in the dust. Guess what? Behringer's driving the train, so get on board if you want to enjoy the ride because they, they don't need a conductor. They're their own conductor. Uli's the conductor. And maybe I'll throw a little something in at the end that I saw today that was very, very cool by Behringer if you stick around. All right, so the Lindrum, I will be picking that up as well. We'll see, because you know the Samurai wants to pick everything up, so it all depends on the bank account, but I think I'm gonna be going for that one. That's the Lindrum. So that's the synthesizers Behringer I think's got coming in 2024. They got the PPG, they got the VCS3, they got the Lindrum, and they got the Jupiter clone. It's a Jupiter clone or Juno. Maybe they're going to come with the Jupiter and the Juno, the Neptune and the Jupiter. All right. So now that's kind of just what the samurai thinks. That's kind of just, you know, like what I'm kind of speculating. But what I'm really thinking is I've been doing some digging and I got a couple other people doing some digging. And I'm going to tell you how I came up with this, this, the ideas and the the predictions which I think are 100% coming true for 2024 for Moog. So let's jump over real quick and look into it. We go right here. We go to Moog Music. <clears throat> this is the trademark filing site now. If you want to follow along, here's a little pro tip. If you want to see what these companies are doing, usually they have to register their names of their synthesizers so no one like, I don't know, Behringer might kind of sneak the name and take it. So if we go over and we start scrolling down here, let's look. Hello, chat with an expert, no thanks. Now, if we go right here, you look. As you can see, they got other names in there. But if we look right here at the top, 
2023, January 20th, 2023, Moog trademarked Labyrinth, okay? And then in September 2022, September 9th, which is a special day, the Moog Mirror was trademarked. Now, these are two synthesizers that I might even give you the Samurai stamp of 100% guarantee two synthesizers are coming out this year, and I'm almost sure it's going to be the Moog Mirror and the Moog Labyrinth. And I'll tell you what they're both going to look like right now. But if you want to, you can go down. This is what this is all the synthesizers, Model D. So you tell me why would the top two they got ready to go right now are the Labyrinth and the Moog Mirror. So if we jump over here, this is a little statement by Moog Music President, and we won't read it all, but basically what it's saying is we've joined in music. Stay tuned. We got some big things coming, some exciting things coming. And in fact, they do have some exciting things coming. And I'm not the biggest Moog fan, but I'm becoming more and more a Moog fan every day because I'm excited for future. And I like when I like when chaos happens because it creates a kind of change that's very inspiring. So if we look right here, the rumor of the labyrinth, the Moog labyrinth is it's going to be put inside of one of these synthesizers and labyrinth means patchable you know maze patch cables going everywhere the labyrinth of sound exploration rumors i'm hearing is that they're going to be doing a subharmonicon a dfam and a mother 32 pretty much all in one case what are you going to expect you're going to expect that to come in at maybe twelve hundred dollars but if they can bring that under a thousand that's how they're going to get a lot of new people in it because can you imagine having one box like that that could do all three of those sounds that's absolutely extraordinary and listen i'm telling you right now if you can't get excited about something like that i don't know what excites you maybe these sunglasses excite you but anyways that's what's coming that's the moog labyrinth right there you take a look at it that's what it's going to look like but one of them that's my prediction and labyrinth is patch bay maze sounds you get it all right then we go over here and we got the Moog Mirror, which I think is their huge polyphonic release, which Moog doesn't go to NAM, NAM, however you want to say it. But this year, there's rumors that they might show up at NAM, and there's also rumors that they're going to do a, a leak of some sort on their Facebook page or something like that there. They're going to do a leak of their new synthesizer. And the idea is, as you know, the Moog One, 16 or 8 voices, they're basically going to just wham, keep that their 16 voice synthesizer, the Moog one, and then they're releasing the Moog Mirror, the 8 voice polyphonic, absolutely insane beast from everything that I'm hearing from all my sources. The sound on this thing is absolutely blowing the engineers' minds. Anybody who's getting a, getting, getting a chance to even touch this thing is absolutely blown away. So we can be super excited about that. So that's the Moog Mirror coming. And the other rumor that I'm hearing maybe is that the Moog Labyrinth may, if they go, if they're going to get wild enough, they might release a key version where the patch bay is a la grandmother, a la matriarch, semi-modular style, but in the sub 37 case, you know, where it's got that slant going up. So that's super exciting for Moog. That's very, very exciting. Now, if we jump over here to Arturia, Arturia have been if you ask me, slowly but surely making constant firmware upgrades to their, not their Brute range, because they got the Poly Brute, which is amazing. That thing's amazing, but it's kind of out of the price range for most people. But if we scroll down, we got the Freak range, all right? The Micro Freak, the, the Mini Freak, and uh, rumors are this year that they've been working on a lot of upgrades, and they're going to come with the Super Freak, okay? So... That gets me excited. And you know one thing about Sin Samurai, he loves names on synthesizers. And I absolutely love the name Freak, okay? Because I'm a freak and you're a freak. But at heart, we're Samurais, but we're still freaks. And the Mini Freak is amazing, but people are saying we don't like those small keys, so they're going to come with the Super Freak. The only the only uh, area they got a thread, the needle they got a thread, is they can't go stepping on the toes of the Poly Brute, okay? So you can expect a bigger version of the mini freak called the super freak and that's probably what's coming in 2023 or 2024 sorry 2023 is gone but you know sometimes you still feel like you're living in 2023 you know a lot of things happened in 2023 man but also nothing happened because it was the great pause but now we're going into 2024 let me tell you something straight from 
straight from my gut. 2024 is going to be the wildest, most insane, most epic year of our entire lives. It's going to blow our minds and things that are going to go down this year are absolutely, I might even have to like, I might even have to switch this channel and start reporting on all the craziness that's going on, but we'll see. But anyways, 2024 is wild, man. If you're getting overwhelmed by all the madness of the 20, 2024, just stop by Samurai Nation, man, and we'll, we'll, we'll calm it down and get everything back, back to the level. All right, so then we move over here. Sequential, the last but not least sequential. Sequential is, I think they're kind of stagnant at the moment. Sequential, after Dave Smith died, they've gotten this kind of funk of just, you know, Moog was in this funk as well, just, you know, and just repeating the past, you know, just bringing out old recreations of the past. Now the problem is they're set, not the problem, the good thing is the sound of the past for Sequential sounds amazing. Their latest release, the Trigon, didn't do very well, didn't do very good in sales. Uh, it didn't have the oomph, they didn't put enough marketing behind it because they're, they're, they got dinosaur marketing, let's be honest. They, their marketing is not up to snuff and Dave Smith was the big pusher of marketing and, and he was the company, kind of like Vince McMahon and WWE. So now it's time to take Sequential and start making some new synthesizers and getting them in the hands of people who can actually afford them and uh, getting them back on board. So with Sequential, my prediction, Sequential will release nothing in 2024. How about that? They're not gonna release a thing. Not one thing. An honorable mention before we go, Moog will absolutely just start carpet, I don't wanna say the word, carpet, uh, carpet dropping VSTs just all over the place, nonstop, that are gonna sound amazing and gonna absolutely epic. All right, so. We are going to say that that's it for that synth show today. I'm back in the saddle. We got the Behringer Wasp demo coming up. I'm going to try and get that done tonight so I can get that out. Thank you, guys. 2024 is going to be amazing. You know what to do. Hit the t-shirt shop. Pick up a t-shirt. A lot of those are going to be pulled off now soon because they're going to be uh, collector's items for the first run. So if you want to get one, head to the t-shirt shop. Pick up a t-shirt. And without further ado, man, that's that synth show. I thank you very much. I'm happy you joined for the Nostradamus, and that's that sin show, baby. Slow, slow.